Hello YouTube, I wanted to make a video about uh, an app that I discovered last night. Uh, as you can see, I am have my new OnePlus 6 uh, silk, silk White here. Okay, it's beautiful. It's great. Uh, I'm shooting this video on my old OnePlus 3T. Uh, last night, I was looking for something that would help me with the um, ads on YouTube. It gets, it gets so old every time you click on a video you want to watch you got to sit through an ad <clears throat> and anymore it's less and less that you can click away from them after five seconds you know they want you to sit there for 15 seconds 20 seconds looking at a stupid ad and I haven't had a television since 2010 specifically for that reason because I just I no commercials man I don't want to be sold shit all the time it gets old I'm sick and tired of it so no TV, no cable. I've got internet. I've got a phone. I've got a computer. I don't need no TV. I, I'd like to have one because I, I do like certain types of movies and stuff. But I'm very careful about what I what I um, watch and what entertains me and things like that these days anyway. Anyway, so I found this video. Just kind of stumbled on it. Um, I would found a, an app earlier in the day yesterday called Block... Block Ada, Block Ada, B O B L O K A D A, Block Ada, Block Ada. I don't know. Anyway, free app, open source. I put it in my phone, it, and it did great. But YouTube <clears throat> wouldn't touch it. Ads all over the place, ads everywhere, ads in front of every video. So I found an ad last night, or an app last night, on on YouTube. So I'm going to show it to you because. It's pretty damn cool. I mean, let me raise this camera just a little bit there. There we go. Let me show it to you here. Let's see, let's see if we can get it to turn on. Okay, face unlock in the house, all right. So, I'll open up my folder here. That's a Google folder. Now, if you notice these apps here, they're all squared, right? Except for my tube mate, which is a... Which is a uh, YouTube videos downloading app. I can download videos and, and whatnot. It used to be able to, to download music separately from the video, but you can't do that anymore. I guess the government got involved and yada, yada, yada. So come after everybody. But YouTube here is round. Now check this out. I put this in here like this. Look at it. Bam. I got black YouTube. <laughs> I don't have that bright, white, blinding screen on there, right? black YouTube so let's go to my library here and let's go to history and it's this cat right here K Chow if you can see that I'll leave the link in the description but he tells you all about how to set this thing up now there's there's two versions that you can get you can get a white version that looks just like the regular YouTube and you can get this black version here which I like a lot better I like the dark theme much easier on the battery, less pixel push, and all that kind of stuff. So, this is the one I went with. Um, but watch the, if you want this, watch the video very closely, and watch what he does and how he does it. Uh, you can do it. it. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it can be done because I did it on both my phones, on the 3T and the 6. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, also, the OnePlus phones. If you're a OnePlus owner, you know this is a problem. Uh, let me do one thing real quick. One problem is uh, with OnePlus phones, <clears throat> I had to turn that overhead light off so it wouldn't glare so bad on the screen here. But one problem that we have with One uh, OnePlus phones is that uh, you go to YouTube and you turn on a video and you it always defaults to 480. Which is silly. It's a 1080 screen. It, it defaults to 480. So every every video, first you got to sit through a damn commercial or an ad of some sort, and then you got to sit there. And when the when the video starts, you have to then click on the screen, get on the little hamburger buttons, the little three dots, go down to your resolution, pick 1080, blah 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 blah. blah. Also, it's every video. It's every video. Okay, no matter what, it's every video. This. What I think this is basically is, and I, I don't, I probably shouldn't say this, but what I think this app actually is is a um, YouTube Red hack. 
And I say that for several reasons. But let's check this out. So, I'll, again, I'll leave the link in the description how to get this this YouTube app. It looks almost identical to the real to the to the Google YouTube app, but it's there's some very key differences here. So let's go to let's go to home here. Swipe that away and go up to your your icon there. Click on it. I guess I didn't swipe up, does it? I guess I have to do it myself. Settings. Now you've got all your general, okay, YouTube TV, general, background, download, blah, 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 all your general settings. Down towards the bottom, you see this? This is a different setting. This is a setting for this particular app. Oops. <laughs> I'm not good at doing this behind camera. Codec override, you can... Do the uh, VP9 codec forcing, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what that is. I tried to read up on it a little bit. I don't know. I just gave it a shot. You can turn it on, turn it off. It doesn't really make a difference that I can see. Video quality. This is this is the one right here. Video quality. Look at that. 2160 preferred. You got to override the max resolution limit that the phone puts on it. The phone puts on a 1080p limit. Okay. So that'll be turned off by... by um, by default and it'll be these will both be auto by default so if you want it to default to the max resolution first you got to turn this on you gotta override that that limit and you can go down look 2160 bam over Wi-Fi I have unlimited um, data T-Mobile grandfathered in, grandfathered in on an old plan boom 2160 doesn't matter I can use all the data I wanted Price doesn't change. I don't get throttled. Boom. Layout settings. I turned all these info cards and everything. Turned it all off. I don't care about any of it. Branding water. Blah. Couldn't figure out what the difference was between on or off anyway. So, but video type. Now they've got old style and new style. Now the old style was the little box that would go down and you could see the, the video playing. You could swipe it away. The new style is that little bar that goes across there and you got to press a little X. I don't like that. I don't know why they changed it, but I like the old style, so that's what I went with. So old style. Boom. There's that. Now, a certain amount of these changes you have to. Uh, some of them you'll get a you'll get a little toast mark that says you need to completely restart the YouTube app in order to make them make them work. Well, really, all you have to do is press refresh. You'll get a toast saying refreshing, and then restart. And it'll restart the app for you, and boom, you're good to go. Now, let's check out this. Let's see if we can check out this uh, this settings. See if it defaults to the to the setting you want it to. Top setting, not just 480, but it'll go to the top setting of the actual video that you're watching. So I've got a couple of liked videos here. That this one. 4K, real 4K HDR, 60 frames per second. Okay. I don't have the sound. I've got the sound turned off because I don't want any copyright nonsense. And hopefully this video won't, won't make a copyright infringement. But watch. Here we go. Let's see if you just want to pick it up. Look at that. Quality. 2160p. 60 frames per second HDR mode. Boom. Check it out. There's another feature that I didn't, that I don't know if the old YouTube had or not. But it, I know this one does because I saw the, the guy on the video do it. Boom. Now I've got it set to use the notch. You can set the phone to keep the notch out. I just like the notch. I don't care. I've never had a problem with the notch. But check it out. Now, even though it's a, just a 1080p screen, it's fantastic with running 2160p. It's just great. Let's go to another one. One more here.
Zoom to fill the screen. Bam. What do we got here for settings? 2160p HDR. It defaults to the highest. It's since I set it on 2160, you get a, a 1080, that's 4K. You, you get a 1080p that's the highest, it defaults to 1080. It defaults to 720, it defaults to 480. If it's just a 480 video, 360 video, it goes to the highest setting available. Because we've got some buffering going on here. Now, ooh, I didn't want to get out of that just yet. Now, there's one more thing. Oh, there's a couple of things. There's a couple of downsides to it. Right? Um, history. It does not keep history. This, this, these I watched last night with the old Android. I mean, with the old Android. With the old YouTube, um, app with the original default YouTube, the Google YouTube app, and those were in the, the history settings here. I've watched 20 or 30 videos since then, just different high def videos and stuff. Nothing is in the history. Also, search, nothing comes up in search. Nothing. You you search and it you, it's like you've never searched anything. So it doesn't hold history, doesn't hold search. So if you want something to come up, you want to watch something again that you liked, you, you, you got to hit like. You got to like the video. So that's that's one bad. That's a couple of downsides to this app. It doesn't hold history. And it doesn't it doesn't hold a recent search uh, files. So let's do this. Let's go. Here's why I, this this is why I think this is this is why I think that it's a YouTube Red kind of a rip off type of thing uh my uh, royalty free music YouTube red you can you can with YouTube red you can do this Can't do that without YouTube Red. So there's that. I'll leave the link in the description.